I've been so happy with my season. I'm really happy with how my skiing and my jumping in particular has progressed even from last season. To be pushing the DD in the sport and on the women's side and throwing big tricks like the Cork 720 Mute, that was my major goal to come out and do this year. And I've also stepped up a level with my skiing and my speed and everything's starting to come together. And yeah, it's really exciting. It's been great this season to have more of a normal full season with more certainty around when competitions are happening and such. I know a lot of them still did get cancelled, but like they've managed to reschedule the Valmalenko World Cup, which is incredible. And just to have all those opportunities to get back in the gate and for the whole field, I think is incredible. Last year, like I was saying, it's, it was tough with not many events, not many opportunities. Didn't know if an event was gonna happen even the day before it. I think it's been really great to get more events off the ground this season. The finals in Mejev is going to be really exciting. This is kind of the first time in the last few years where there's been a real battle for the top spot in the women's field and it could all be coming down to the final event. So to see that happen is really exciting. There's a few girls in the mix for that top spot and I think everyone's going to be pushing it their hardest there. So going to have to whip something pretty good out. <laughs> There's a, obviously a massive evolution to go from that little kid who just loved to ski, wanted to ski as much as possible, to now won an Olympic gold medal. There's a massive journey that you go on and that's going to continue for me. I think, like I've known for a while that I've had the capability to get on that top spot and particularly the journey the last few years has been about getting the consistency and putting the processes in place so that I can put those runs down more often and I feel like I've really been able to achieve that this season more and more. It's a very special thing to have won a Winter Olympic gold medal for anyone, but particularly as an Australian. We've only had, prior to me, five other Olympic gold medals in the Winter Games. So, and they're athletes that I think are phenomenal athletes. I idolise them. So to be put in that same kind of league as them has been one of the coolest things to come out of it. And everyone at home was, I think, just so stoked for us. We got four medals at these Olympics, which is our most ever. And to be a part of making history and that was super, super special and really felt a lot of support from back home, which was cool. There's so much advice I could give to my younger self. Don't think she would have listened, but I think just knowing that having confidence in yourself makes such a big difference to what you're capable of and having that confidence in yourself lets you reach what you are actually capable of, I think. When you're kind of doubting yourself and stuff, you put a big limit on what you're able to achieve on any day. So I think that's a really important lesson I would have liked my younger self to have. I think Australia has really proven that it is a force to be reckoned with in winter sports. We have so many successful athletes now across so many different disciplines, particularly in freestyle, because especially moguls, we actually do have the facilities to train it and they're world class in Australia. It's only for a small period of time, but as we get more and more success as well in the sports, we get more and more funding back home and that allows for more opportunities for our younger kids to train and improve and that's been really exciting to see. I've benefited a lot from the success of say Britt Cox and Matt Graham, the guys on my team who have gone before me and I've got a lot of opportunities from them that have helped me develop my career to where it is now and so it's really exciting to see what the success of Australian Winter Sports now can do for the future coming through. I think we're just going to get stronger and stronger.